Okay, so the next set of alphas I'm going to be going over that you can use in your project life are not going to be stickers, but I wanted to include these in the video because if you don't have a big budget to go out and always buy, you know, all these different alpha stickers and every color, you know, that kind of thing, you know, I don't want you to feel like you can't start Project Life or you can't start scrapbooking because um, you can. There's other alternatives to buying a bunch of um, colored stickers. Of course, there's your handwriting. Don't forget that. That's free, right? But the other two things I wanted to share about alphas that you can use are stamps and die cuts. So I'm going to go over stamps first. So these are the main alpha stamp sets that I use um, in my scrapbooking and my project life. Um, I don't have a ton of alphabet stamps and that's okay because if I choose the ones that I like the font of the most, I know I'm going to use those like paper smooches. I love paper smooches. I love the font of this. It's so cute and like, I don't know, just funky and fun and I like that. So I use these a ton. They also come with some little additional things um, over here too, some little dots and question marks and stuff like that that you can use as well. And then the next ones are the Quinn's ABCs and numbers. Uh, Quinn's ABCs and Quinn's 123s. These are really cute. I have no idea why these are turning yellow. I don't like that, but anyways. So I use these a lot. I use these on a card a couple of process videos ago that I spelled out grillin' and they're just cute. You can color these in with Copics. Um, you can buy the die that goes with this that you can cut out you know, around the letter and you can actually have the shape of the letter um, cut out on, on paper, you know, and you can use these over and over and over again. And they're a pretty, pretty average size. They're not too big and they're not too small. You know, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, you might want to get these. But um, I love that they also come with the numbers because I like the flow um, that this has. You know, it would have bothered me if I needed to write out this word in these stamps and I didn't have the numbers if I wanted to date something. They also come in uppercase. I prefer lowercase in everything pretty much. Print and lowercase is just what I prefer so you can get these. And I want to say that these are like $14.99 and this is like $7.99 and I think these are like $14.99 as well. But for how often you're going to use them, you know, it's, it's valuable. Okay, so these are called polka dot alphabets. I these are so, so cute. These are by Close to My Heart, and I actually got these at an expo or a stamp thing or something I went to. Yeah, they're Close to My Heart. I have no idea if they sell them still. I just, I got three packs of these Close to My Heart stamp sets that were like three for $10. I thought that was a great deal, $3.33 each for, you know, the different stamp sets that I got. They're photopolymer. These are so, so nice. Um... And they're so cute. You can see they're black with little polka dots on them. Now, they come with um, all uppercase, which is, you know, I prefer lowercase. But these are just so cute. I couldn't pass them up. And then they have all the numbers. And they have some little symbols. I'm sure this was made before hashtags uh, were popular. Or else there would have been a hashtag on here. But that's fine. Super cute. You can make a hashtag with this right here. I love asterisks. Those are one of my favorite things, too. I love that it has a question mark. There's parentheses. I mean, this is a great set to have. It's really, really cute. And I love how they have this, like, protective sheet on there. It's really nice. It's a, it's a good quality stamp set. So those are just a few that I like to reach for when I'm doing my project life. Um, but there are tons of manufacturers out there. There's tons of fonts, uppercase, lowercase, both. You know, there's so many different um, alpha stamps that you could get if you don't want to invest in a bunch of different, you know, stickers. And then also what I don't want people to overlook are alpha die sets. Um, I have three so I don't have a lot um, I could buy the die set like I was saying for the Quinn's and I may I don't know but for right now these are my favorites and these are the only ones that I have so they really work out for me I you know I was really into these fonts um, so the first one I have are the MFT high rise and once again these are all lowercase I love the narrow and tall look of these I love using these 
um, on my project in my project life on my layouts on cards I just love them and I also went ahead and bought and I think these are a little expensive because you get the whole alphabet and I also went ahead and bought the numbers so um, it's just zero through nine and I use these a lot for like the week of stamp I mean um, cards or um, like date just dating something like I just did a Halloween project life spread and I did 2014 uh, those come in in handy for that but I just love these love them love them love them and then um, I'll put those away later another one of my favorite alpha um, die sets is this one by Oh, memory box um, and they're called large Parker deluxe lowercase alphabet there's lowercase again of course um, I'm obsessed with lowercase letters I guess <laughs> oh seriously but anyways these look like those you know um, Hollywood bulb light um, letters and I just I love them I there's a stamp set I want to get that looks like this I I don't remember who it's who it's from but I, I you know I, that's one thing on my scrappy want list but yeah now these are a little bit bigger but for small words on a title card cute like June or May you know abbreviating February or January or whatever um, just putting fun putting yum you know just small words this is so so cute and um, once again you can cut these out any color you want you can use them over and over again so great now I got these as a gift for Christmas from my parents but um, they're they purchased them from Simon Says Stamp for $31.99 so yes a little bit on the expensive side for initial investment but you know I mean they last forever and you can use them as many times as you want so really great um, deal and good investment these are quick cuts moxie which i don't see a lot of people on youtube using quick cuts this is really old i've been scrapbooking for forever so um, some of the stuff i have in my stash is old um, i do try to get rid of some of the really old stuff but this one i just couldn't let go of i had the quick cuts machine and i went ahead and got rid of that but i kept some of the dies that i really liked and this was one of the dies that i really liked and I got this at Hobby Lobby for $20.99. Oh my gosh. It had to have been in the last six years, I would say. But I don't think that they carry quick cuts anymore. It's kind of faded out. But you could probably find something like this on eBay or Amazon or something like that. Um, but anyways, they come in these little quadrants things right here so you really can't get around just die cutting one of these out but that's okay you know sometimes I just throw the rest of them in my little die cut stash and look through them if I want to use them again but um, love these they're such a cute little font and they're so small you can write a, you can put a lot of words they come with the letters the numbers um, these are all uppercase, but still, I just think they're so cute. They're so tiny. Anyways, this is another cute set. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to show this because I don't know if you could buy it anymore, but I'm hoping that somebody could find it on eBay or something. If I find any of these things, I'll try to link them down below. Um, but, yeah, these are so, so cute. I love them. And, you know, once again, die cuts and stamp sets are a great initial investment for someone who's starting out because you can use these all the time. I just say that, you know, just do your homework and find ones that the font uh, is really um, interesting to you. You gravitate towards it and you feel like you're going to use it over and over again and you'll get your money's worth. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this stash chat. Oh, oh I wanted to um, discuss to um, a cheaper alternative like I did with the... Um, mini markets and sticky keys because um, even though $14.99 over a long period of time using them all the time of course you'll get your money's worth but for an initial investment if you're looking to just kind of spend a few dollars um, or you know just looking for a cheaper alternative you can go and get um, like Hampton Art or Studio G at Michaels or Joann's these are a dollar 
a dollar for these. They're really, really cute. They're all lowercase. There's a few um, punctuation right here, but for a dollar, you can't beat this. They look like little typewriter letters. So cute, and they're really small, but cute. Um, this one was really super popular about a year ago at Michael's. I don't know if they still carry this or not, but like I said, you could probably find this on, you know, like an eBay or something. But these are like the outline. Oh, it's in the packaging upside down. But these are from Ditto. But they're outlining, and once again, you can use these, color them in. Um, they're really, really cute. They're small. You got a bunch of numbers. You even have a hashtag in this particular set. I think these were 250 and then um, stamp sets at places like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, and Tuesday Morning. Um, if you're ever in those stores, just kind of walk through their paper goods aisle. It's really small usually, but sometimes they have um, discontinued or, you know, overly ordered or stocked um, scrapbooking items at a discounted price to try to move them. So these are like a cursive, small... Um, alpha set. What I like about this set is that they have more than one of the letters. So if you're stamping out a word that has two A's in it, you don't have to, you know, stop stamping, make room for the another, another to use the, reuse the A and all of that stuff. So these were $1.99 at Tuesday morning. So great deal on these. So just a, um, an inexpensive alternative to purchasing, you know, something that's like $14.99 compared to a dollar. So you can start out, see how you like it and go from there. So I hope that you enjoyed this alpha stash chat video. Um, I'm hoping to do more of these. Um, people are making suggestions and recommendations of, you know, what else they want to hear about as far as my stash and my thoughts on it. Um, and, you know, just let me know. And thanks so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.